I had this experience a couple of years ago when um, I gave this this keynote about waking up and leaving my marriage and finding my soul and, and understanding I had betrayed my own heart. Um, and Goalcast um, made like a motivational video out of it, like a little five minute video on Goalcast. And uh, it went really viral, like 40 million views viral, wow. like Facebook, mostly on Facebook, like all over the world. Um, and people hated me. So I got massively, massively trolled and I wasn't strong enough in myself because A, I wasn't expecting it mm -hmm. because when you go out with good intentions, like you go out with your heart, you, you know, you don't expect that thousands and maybe millions of strangers are, are going to attack you. And like, what was I got the death criticism? Threat. Um, well, a lot of like, if you, um, basically they just thought that I shouldn't have left because I wasn't being, I don't know, abused or like I left because I realized that uh, I wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a, it was a 20 minute speech originally based on a nine years of a life. So first of all, like there's a story, like when you give a keynote, you're, you're telling a story and it's very specific. Um, and then, and then that gets further condensed into like a five minute clip. Mm -hmm. So like it leaves a lot of room for misinterpretation, but what it really brought forward was a lot of, um, uh, just the beliefs that people have about a marriage, about a woman's role. I got a lot of that. Mm -hmm. uh, how dare you? You're selfish. I got a ton of selfish. Mm -hmm. Your happiness isn't more important. You made a promise. Like, you know, so, oh my God, so much. Mm. I mean, and what happened is I guess like the way it works is, and I didn't know any of this because I certainly didn't go looking for gold cast. They found me and they, I didn't get anything out of it. I didn't get money. Like this just, they were like, let, we're going to do this for you. And, and, and I thought, great, cool. Um, I'm happy to share my message. Now the, I guess the trolls got it first. Mm -hmm. And so they just piled on yeah. and I stopped reading the comments after a couple of days because I, I couldn't even believe what people were saying. Now it was like their best video out the gate for goal cast like ever. Um, and it was shared 250,000 times, like a hundred thousand comments. So clearly people, it triggered people and I could see their pain. And I just kept thinking like, I had so much compassion for them because I realized it wasn't really about me. But by the time I realized that the damage was done in my heart because I was, I was crushed. Mm. I was so crushed because I was like, I'm sorry you were hurt, but I'm not her. Mm -hmm. And what they didn't know from the video is that when, you know, after I had that moment waking up, I had a conversation with my then husband where basically I said like, I cannot have kids. Like I realized like that I need to say this in a really strong way. And he said, well, that's a deal breaker. Uh -huh. Right. So it wasn't, so I was made to be this villain because I didn't have a good enough reason. I wasn't being abused or I don't know what people's good enough reasons were, but apparently it wasn't good enough for them. But when Goldcast um, a couple of months later showed me the numbers they actually said that the, the positive like responses or reactions, I don't know about comments, but like the reactions were like a thousand to one positive. Mm -hmm. But I had stopped looking because a couple weeks in, I was so traumatized mm -hmm. from all this hate being flung at me that I stopped looking. And then I got all these messages of people saying, thank you for saying what you said. Thank you for the courage to be so open and honest and vulnerable and authentic about your story and I mean, I got messages from women all over the world, some of them in arranged marriages. Mm -hmm. A lot of them were saying like, I didn't know that anyone else felt this way because they felt trapped and they were like, I'm, it's this idea of good enough. And if you ever read um, Glennon Doyle's book, Untamed, um, it's different for her and her personal story, but the mechanisms are the same. It's this idea of telling ourselves like, well, you've got it pretty good. So you should just shut up and be grateful for what you have. It's good enough. Mm. But inside of yourself, you know, there's something more and that will not go away until you address it. And so, um, so there's a lot of pressure that we put on another person in a relationship, 
right? It kind of goes back to like to the selfishness is also we, we've reversed that. And we have, there's these ideas that your partner should make you happy. Mm-hmm. No, absolutely not. You should make you happy. Mm-hmm. And, um, and that's number one, because that's a whole lot of re- responsibility to put on someone else. Yeah. Right. Like, no, you have to make me happy because Disney says so, or the movies say so, or whatever says so. Um, and in reality, you're both individuals that are on a learning journey together. And that journey also might not always be together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's hard to articulate because, so we talked about seasons earlier. I think that there's a difference between the relationship going through a season and then just knowing yeah. that it's not the right one. Right. And yeah. they're going to sound the same. And like, I see that's probably what happened with the, with the talk, right. Is everyone was like, it's just a season. You're supposed to wait it out, but there's a mm-hmm. difference and you only know the difference if you're in it. 